Hello everyone, welcome back to my class. So now I will be dealing with session 2 of unit 1 from the subject Principles of Marketing semester 3. So now let us go to the topic that I am going to deal. So here in this session I will be teaching you the objectives and importance of marketing. So let us see the recap of the previous class. So in the previous class we learned the meaning of market, meaning and definition of marketing, nature of marketing. So there are six of them human activity, consumer oriented, art as well as science, creation of utilities, goal oriented and the last one it is a dynamic process. Now let us see what are the objectives of marketing. So, marketing objectives are the various goals framed by business houses or a manufacturer to promote its business and services to its consumers within a given time frame. So, within a given time frame or given given time, what are the activities they do to achieve their goal? So, here some of the prominent objectives are mentioned below. The first one is as you everyone know, the first and foremost objective of marketing is profitability. Profit making is one of the primary goals for the growth of any business enterprise. Profitability is one of the major elements a company need to take care of to keep its business sustained. The next is promotion. Promotion of company products play a major role in increasing the demand and market for its product. Promotion includes advertising of various uh, modes that may be print media or online platforms or even sometimes offline like giving sample products or giving an extra um, percentage of that particular product or some after sale services. There are many modes how you can promote the product. The next objective of marketing is building goodwill that is good reputation in the market. Marketing is essential for increasing the goodwill and reputation of a company. If the company does not include uh, it as a priority then definitely the market, the business will lose its market hold and also ultimately it will lose its goodwill or good name or reputation in the market. So, the next one, survival and growth amidst intense competition. So, as we all know, it is a very competitive world now, not only for us as students, but also to the corporate magnets also. So, corporate, uh, even all the big shot uh, companies are um, really working uh, day and night to stand up in the market. So, marketing management plays a very vital role in the survival and growth of a company in the highly competitive environment. So, to stand out in the market, the company definitely has to depend on its marketing management team. The next objective is maximizing market share. So, as I have told you, for ensuring long-term profitability of the business enterprise, a marketing management has to constantly monitor its products according to the changing consumer preferences and establish the uniqueness of its products among items offered for sale by the competitors. That is, if you have to hold the market share, then definitely your product or service should be better than your competitors. Otherwise, you will be lagged behind and your competitors will take out or take off your market share also. And one fine day, you'll, out, you'll be out of the market. So, to maximize, not only maximize, but also to stay back in the market, the company has to have a strong marketing management. So, now let us see what is the importance of marketing. The first one, the financial success of a business will depend on its marketing abilities. So, as I told you, 
the success of the business depends on the business on the demand for its product and service and also its goodwill in the market so all this can happen only with a good market marketing strategies and marketing management team then next marketing will contribute to increase the re uh, revenue by generating sales and thereby profit marketing plays an important role in decision making process with regard to what when and how much to produce store and transport so all these major decisions that a company has to take will be taken by the marketing team or an efficient marketing system if the marketing management system is not is not efficient enough then that company will not be able to take corrective measures and also the right decisions then marketing helps a company to attain its existing customers Uh, sorry retain its existing customers or brand loyalty so brand loyalty is nothing but the customers will not go for another product if he is happy with your with your product like we for example we keep using the same kind brand of soap or detergents or your know, perfumes or we are very uh, emotionally attached to some particular product and which we have we have been using from so many years so even if at all there is another company who is come up with a with another product of similar features definitely we will not go for it because we are very loyal or we are very emotionally attached to those product so those uh, uh, so we customers so such customers will be called as a loyal customer so it is a motive or it is the prime uh, duty of a company's man marketing management team to retain its customers and also to create loyal customers so that they don't leave the company's product and go for another then next one it helps in optimum utilization of resources then better marketing management will enable a company to achieve a competitive advantage uh, over its opponents so as i have told you a marketing uh, team if they are efficient enough then definitely they can fight all odds and they can fight and be strong against their competitors otherwise they will be taken over by them so here let us conclude with the session summary so the what we have learned in this session is the objectives of marketing so here you have profitability promotion building goodwill survival and growth amidst intense competition maximizing market share and also the importance of marketing thank you